Hi there, I am Miss Lola. Welcome to today's class where we will learn about time. Today, we will learn how to draw a wall clock and read the time on our wall clock. We perform different activities at different times of the day. There is a time to go to bed and a time to wake up in the morning. There is a time to go to school and a time of closing from school. We need to know how to read the time so we know when to perform our various activities. To draw a wall clock, we follow these simple steps. Step 1. Draw a circle on a sheet of paper. Step 2. In the circle, write the number 12 at the top corner of the circle. Also, write the number 6 at the bottom corner of the circle. The number 3 at the right corner of the circle and the number 9 at the left corner of the circle. Step 3. Between the numbers 12 and 3 in the circle, write the number 1, followed by the number 2. Between the numbers 3 and 6 in the circle, write the number 4, followed by the number 5. Between the numbers 6 and 9 in the circle, write the number 7, followed by the number 8. Lastly, between the numbers 9 and 12 in the circle, write the number 10, followed by the number 11. Step 4. In between each number on the edge of the circle, draw four short lines. Each of this line indicates the minutes that passes as time goes by. Step 5. Shade a dot in the middle of the circle. From the point we shade, draw two arrows that will point to the numbers in the circle. The first arrow will be short and the second arrow will be long. We call these two arrows the hands of the clock. I am sure you are wondering what the hands of the clock are used for. They tell the number of minutes and the number of hours that have passed by on the clock. The short arrow is called the hour hand. The hour hand tells us how many hours have passed in a day. Always remember, there are 24 hours in a day. We call the long arrow the minute hand. M-I-N-U-T-E, minute. The minute hand tells us how many minutes have passed in an hour. Step 6. Draw a long line from the shaded point where the two arrows are. We call this long line the second hand, S-E-C-O-N-D, second. The second hand tells us how many seconds have passed in a minute. We now know how to draw a clock and how the hands of the clock are used. Let us see if you remember what we just learned. Number one, how many hands does a clock have? Number two, what is the short hand in a clock called? Now we know how to draw a clock. Let us learn how to read the time on our clock. This is a picture of a clock showing the time. To read the time on the clock, we always start by looking at where the hour hand is pointing. On our clock, the hour hand is pointing at 2. Next, we look at where the minute hand is pointing. On our clock, the minute hand is pointing at 12. Whenever the minute hand of a clock points at 12, this means an hour has passed. We say the time is 2 o'clock. Let us try another example. As stated earlier, to read the time on a clock, we always start by looking at where the hour hand is pointing. On this clock, the hour hand is pointing at 6. Now, we look at where the minute hand is pointing. Our minute hand is pointing at 12. This means that the time is 6 o'clock. Great job! Let us try some exercises. Number 1. Can you read the time on the clock below? What does the time say? The time says 8 o'clock. Number 2. On the clock below, where does the hour hand point? And what does the time say? The hour hand points at 12. So the time says that it's 4 o'clock. I hope you enjoyed learning about time today. Remember to keep practicing and you'll get better at telling time. Until next time, bye!